everyone, it's Cerise here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I got my hair extensions. So they are so long. So as you guys knew, I had long, beautiful micro bead hair extensions. Unfortunately, I went into a mosh pit for the first time and pretty much matted the whole thing solid. So now I've just got my little hair and I had to get extensions again. And I thought, why not get ones that I can take off my head whenever I want and put back in without matting up. So I've got these bad boys here. Now the reason that they are blonde, because clearly I'm not a blonde. I thought those would slide out real cool, but it didn't really work. They feel, like it feels so nice, just like. Now the reason why these are blonde is because I, <laughs> I am now blonde. No, it's because I have to dye these um, to match my hair. So these are 100% human hair, which is really weird to think that this is like a human's hair. Yeah. And I got it from the lady that did my normal hair extensions and hopefully it dyes because that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be dyeing these. So first I have to wash them because they're brand new. I have to wash them just to get that protective coating off. See how they're super silky. I just got to wash them to get the protective coating off and then we can be on our way. So this is them here before and let's get on to dyeing after I wash them. So what you need is your clean hair extensions, a bowl, a brush thingy to brush on and all the dyes. So this is like the dregs of the dyes that I'm using for my normal hair. And then these are the two colours I'm using here. One is Cerise because I'm self-obsessed. And then one is Flamingo Pink by Directions. Conditioner. That is the important thing. And gloves. So what we will do is lay the hair out in nice lengths. Mix up the shampoo and be good to go. And then also another towel to place the dyed hair extensions on. So I'll get that ready. Preferably set yourself up in a bathroom or something where you're not going to make too much of a mess because this is going to be messy. So we'll start with mixing this up. So I'll just get all of the dregs of this out, which will be about half the brush. Like, do I have another brush? Just to get it out of the container. I don't have another one, but that's okay. I'll start with just like one hair. So what I do with my hair normally is I mix these two together with a bit of conditioner. So I'm like, get this out and scoop the rest of it in. There's no point wasting a little bit. So get the rest of it, empty this container. So that's done. Get this one here. So I don't know why, but I find that this makes like a real nice colour pink. It's not too like dark, not too, um, I'm spraying it everywhere. Not, see, it stains. Um, not too dark, not too light. It's like the perfect kind of combo. And you can stretch it, do any kind of colour, like my hair's all different rain, like, ugh. Make sure you gloves that fit too. My hair is like different lengths, so it's like hot. So it's like light and dark. So we'll get a little bit of conditioner for that. So we've got like a little bit of dye in there. So we'll just get the same amount of conditioner. Just kind of mix that up. And we'll just kind of get a nice kind of color like that. See, just like so. So you can use your fingers if you want, which I might do. And I'm just going to pretty much douse the whole strand of hair. Oh, this is so exciting. Remember, like, if you guys have been keeping up with me, seeing me dye my, um, my fake extensions, like my cheap as nasty ones, that did not work. But I can tell with this that it is working ridiculously, so that is really good. You gotta make sure that you get the kind of clip thing as well, because since these are blonde ones, you wanna try and get as much of that dye in as possible, because it will show through your hair. So I'll just get a little bit more. Also use towels that you don't mind, that will get stained as well. It really depends what kind of color that you are using. So you can yeah, put it in your fingers or you can brush it on the towel. It just really depends how much product you want to use. I'll just try and comb them down. These 
blur brush before I did it. I'm trying to make it easier if I just brush the color through. I'm trying not to split it anywhere. And also I'm not trying to like break the hair or anything, but I want to make sure I get all the strands. Try the brushing technique. I'll just put my hand on there. Just hand brush. Yeah. Now that we have dyed them, also remember to re-dye your hair if you need it re-dyed. So I have done that as well. And this is the result here. There's so many of them. So this is them here. So as you can see, they are a little bit too light for my hair. But once my actual hair is on it, it will go to like a nice like kind of ombre. So I think it will be quite nice. So I'm going to try to kind of put these in my head somehow so 
I'll try. So let's just put them in and I'll be right back. So there they are there. So see how it's not yet yeah, not quite the same shade but it ombres in like that. So I actually think that with a little bit more practice with how to kind of like put them in properly I think that these would actually look really nice and look like cool highlights in my hair with my hair being like it ombre with the pink kind of highlights in there like I actually quite like how bright it is um no, I did think my hair was going to be a lot brighter but unfortunately it wasn't so it's a bit of a pain but yeah that is them there they're so super pretty and so nice and the dye didn't damage them at all using the directions dye and I thought that it was quite fun and I'm loving having long hair again Woo! so this is them here like in the daylight because I've just shown them at night time but I was putting them in today and I was like oh I better show them in like the daylight because you can see that they blend that way I'm like I'm not so sure how I feel about the vibrancy right here at the front but it's just kind of like my hair is real straight so like yeah like I I think like it's really nice really super cute like maybe I should like dye them again so a bit darker but like for the meantime like I'm happy with them like that I think that they blend nicely they don't look too weird and when I wore them last night I got so many compliments so I was like yay like they must look good. So if you guys enjoyed that, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't. And if it was helpful on how to dye your hair extensions that are 22 inches and longer than my life, pretty much. But anyway, you guys know the drill. Until next time, I love you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.